So my name is Vladimir Trakulja and I'm coming from UNICEF uh, in Serbia and also I'm uh, currently engaged with UNICEF Innovation Fund uh, where we are helping support uh, teams who are developing uh, innovative solutions to solve the issues of the most vulnerable children. Why did you participate in the social hackathon as a coach? Uh, I think that every hackathon, uh, which uh, brings a lot of young people with uh, great ideas at one place, enables them to network, to share their ideas, to get some new knowledge and to share the really like positive energy is a very important uh, event to attend. And I'm always looking forward to share my experience and the experience that the whole UNICEF network can offer with young people. Did you learn something new or did you see something inspiring? Yeah, I mean, every every hackathon uh, is basically a chance to uh, uh, also for coaches to learn new things and to uh, meet interesting people. So I think that for myself, I mean, I, I met quite a lot uh, both young and a bit older uh, interesting people on this event and I also heard some really great uh, ideas about uh, uh, problems that actual people and children are having and some quite innovative ways to uh, try to do solve those uh, problems. So my uh, biggest uh, uh, takeaway from this uh, event uh, as it usually is, I'm I'm really happy uh, with uh, experiencing the positive energy and the ideas that uh, working with young people brings. Is there something different at this social hackathon to a usual hackathon? Well, uh, I really like this location. So uh, this building is simply fabulous and I, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that. You will probably be able to see at least some shot of the building from the outside, but this building, building is very inspiring. It's a mix of the, uh, some sort of also heritage and also some uh, new and modern things. So I really enjoyed being, uh, being inside. What is the future of virtual reality? Whoa, so that's a, that's a billion dollar question. So uh, I think that, uh, that uh, virtual reality is slowly uh, developing uh, itself to be one of the really important uh, mediums, the, how people are experiencing content. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, uh, immersing people in virtual reality is something that is already happening today, but it's still uh, bulky. It's uh, uh, hard to basically sell to people who are not so tech savvy and I think that it has a limited uh, impact on people of uh, every uh, person or child on this earth due to digital divide and all similar things. So I think that the future is miniaturization and I think that uh, it's also making this technology available to everybody on this planet. How do you benefit from your engagement for the European Youth Award? Uh, I personally feel, uh, well, uh, honored to be called to be a coach here and also jury member. And uh, for me, uh, for me, it's, I mean, like, like I said, I think that ability to meet people, to network, to see uh, new ideas, that's, that's really like a great way to uh, personally develop and to grow in this direction. Is there any message you want to shout out to young entrepreneurs out there? Yeah, so, uh, um, um, yes, uh, young entrepreneurs, uh, uh, people when they are young, they usually have uh, a lot of uh, both free time, uh, a lot of friends with also a lot of free time uh, and a lot of ideas. And it's really a shame if you do not try to make at least one of them actually work or, or at least, you know, like you do not necessarily need to succeed but even the road of uh, developing your idea into something that is a prototype or a product is so interesting road and the skill set that you gain by doing that is definitely going to benefit you in your life even if you decide not to be an entrepreneur but to get a, a usual boring job. The skills that you develop, the experience that you uh, actually get through that process is something that is really worth doing it.